G'day guys, welcome back to another episode of Trappers Trails and Tales. So in this little episode we're just going to be out on the line, we're going to be doing a mixed bag check. We're going to be checking Fisher Sats, Martin and Otter. So don't go away and we'll be right back. Okay, so we're coming up to our first set. What this is, is a, it's a Fisher set set and a 220. Set with a 220 and a plastic pail, so. Let's see what, if we need a harvest or not. Sorry for any of the sudden movements, guy. And. I think I caught something. Oh! And uh, slow down my back. <laughs> so you can see here I made a harvest. Looks like a pretty wet Martin. Frozen in the ground a little bit, so uh, I'll get him out and uh, I brought a spare trap and some bait. Obviously, he pulled the bait with him with this one, so. Good start. First set, first uh, first uh, catch of the day, Martin. So there's the finished set. Again, you can see it's nothing fancy. You can see the bucket all here is all wrecked and cracked and stuff, but uh, you can still use her anyways. Again, it's just a 220 and a bucket set baited with beaver. What I also like to do is I like to Put them under a pine tree or spruce or something just to help keep the snow from building up on them. Gives it a little bit of a protection. But that was good even though it was a fisher set. First Martin of the day. Now I just got to put a put a little dab of gusto in the, in the vicinity and then we'll get out here and continue on down the trail. So we're just going into the next set, just observing these uh, fairly fresh moose tracks, probably a day old or so. See it here, and you can also see <laughs> a few Martin tracks. So this set here is basically a Martin set on a running pole, but then last check I caught a fisher, and there was lots of fisher signs after I made the harvest of them, so I decided to set also a 220 and a bucket set. Let's go in here. You can see still Martin tracks all over the place. Oh, here we go. And it paid off. Oh. Ah. So you can see here, <laughs> I caught a Martin. It looks like is. I'm hoping that's the bait. And again, you can see here the fisher that I harvest, and again, where's the pail? Oh, there it is. So again, last check, I uh, I caught a fisher in this set, and there were still lots of tracks around, so I reset the, the 120, and then I thought, oh, I might as well set a 220 in a bucket set here, because you can see where the other ones went up so far, and then they stopped, they wouldn't, uh, wouldn't commit to the to the cubby and that even though I already had one hanging in it. So uh, let's have a little look at this guy. Just I think it's the bait. Oh yeah. Whew. It's a nice martin. Nice adult. That's just the bait. I'm gonna get this trap reset. Get this fisher set. Uh, any more fisher tracks? Oh, I see is Martin, so I think I'm going to pull the I'm going to pull the fisher set and reset the Martin. 
So we've arrived at the next set. Again, it's a Martin set. You can see the box here. I notice the trap is gone. Oh, I see a furry tail. And Martin. That's good. Get this guy removed. I'll put a new trap in there. Hopefully the bait's still in there and lure her up again. Okay, so as we proceed down the trail, we're at another Martin set. And you can see a little tail at the edge of the tree there. A little dark Martin. And I don't like uh, I don't like how these are being caught. Because I have my my box up with the opening facing up. And uh, yeah, it's uh, been making some poor catches on these Martin. So next year I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna take Greybeard's uh, idea and all these Martin boxes are gonna be on running poles. I've had too many uh, refusals on fishers to go up these trees and stuff like that. So like I say, next, uh, next spring, summer, all my boxes will be put on running poles and hopefully uh, it'll increase my fisher catch and make better catches on these Martin. So I'm going to get him out, I'll get a new trap in there and continue on down the trail. So you can see here I just slapped in a, a 220 for a fisher in a five gallon pail and uh, I just started doing this. I started carrying pails with me with spare traps, I never ever did before. All of my fisher sets are usually in the same spot year after year after year, so kind of got in the habit of just leaving them in the same spot. But as I was walking down to, to check a Martin set, I, well, you can see right here all the there's fisher tracks here in the snow. Farther down there was fisher tracks, so I have to just grab a pail out of the, out of the sleigh. Set it up to hopefully on the next, uh, oh, I better go mark that. <laughs> Sorry guys, I gotta go mark that just in case we get heavy snow or whatever. I don't know exactly where it is, but you can see here the, some more fisher tracks right here. See where he crossed there, there's another one going up here. So I think it's gonna be a good spot. Okay, so now we're gonna change it up a little bit. We're gonna go check some otter sets. Uh, you can see through the bush, I don't know how well you can see it, there's just a little pond there, there's a couple beaver dams on it. Uh, the otters were uh, using it pretty good last time I set up the trap, so let's go have a look and uh, see if we made a harvest or not. Okay, so we're coming up to the first otter set. You can see there, it's just a beaver crossover, but they, they keep running this little creek system that goes way down there for a long way, so you can just see right here, looks like they've been popping up. Or something has been crossing it. And I have a trap on the lower end of the the lower end of the the dam here. You can see right there. Should, there's my 330. So <laughs> it's still set. Ah. I don't know how well you can see it, but it's the 330 is still set. Again, when I set all these up, there was a, a sheet of ice on it. So I got it up underneath the ice, and obviously the ice is melted, and it looks like they swam right over it. Or they could have went around it too. You can see right over there, there's a space. So I'll have to go and fix that up and, and uh, keep moving on. And you can see down here, there's another dam. I have two sets there, so hopefully... Uh, Hopefully I picked them up there if, if they went down that way. So you can see there I just put a dive pole over the trap. Put a couple more little sticks there just to, to get them to funnel through the trap. So yeah, this guy is... Uh, <laughs> this guy got lucky here, let's say, but hey, he could be in a trap down over here. So let's go check him out. So and it starts. <laughs> you can see here there's some coyote tracks here. I'm at a Martin box. You can see the tracks all around here. And all that's left of them is the tail. There's the rest. Oh, sorry for the quick movement, guys. God darn it. 
Well, I'm going to get this guy out as well. <laughs> Whatever's left I'm going to get out, I'll get this trap reset and moving on down the trail. So I just loaded up the truck, getting ready to hit the road. You can see there's the skidoo loaded and <laughs> you can see right there there's Martin tracks all around my truck. You can see right there where he came out. And he was frigging around underneath the truck. <laughs> oh well. Okay guys, gonna hit the road. 